Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be doing a week in the life of a slimer and this is a different style vlog video, I guess, mainly because this whole trip I was working so I didn't do much speaking to the camera so I'm going to voice it over, but this is what a week in my life looks like. So on day one, I flew to Miami and this is my friend Audrey in the background who I was actually staying with for the week and we decided that we were going to make slime on the first day because we were visiting my friend who actually has a slime shop. So he has a ton of stuff in his warehouse that we hadn't tried out we thought it would be really fun to just go ahead and make loads. For this specific trip, we were actually going to a slime convention and this is what I've been doing for about the last seven months. So this is a pretty accurate week in the life description and it's so much fun. The setup of it you'll see in about two minutes anyway, but there are loads of sellers with the most beautiful stalls, loads of activities, and then people like me who do meet and greets. So I'm just helping out my friends with, you know, slime preparation, seeing behind the scenes of all of that and just getting a feel of all of the slimes that they're selling as well. Well, One of the best things about slime is just that it does so many cool things. So we were just creating a ton of content for the rest of the day, just trying to promote the slimes that they were taking to the convention. And then we just got lazy. I tried to film a thumbnail here and then I started complaining because I squatted for two, literally 0 0.2 seconds. I was gonna say two seconds, it was 0.2. That was like my legs hurt. So that was the rest of our day because we were jet lagged and a bit tired. But that takes us into Tuesday, which was fully a content day. There is honestly nothing I love more than filming with my slime friends because we all need such particular things and the weirdest one is definitely having to hold our breath when filming because there can't be any breathing sounds otherwise people get really annoyed. I remember when I started in 2016 I didn't know this was a rule and they were like why are you breathing you're ruining the satisfaction I was like I kind of need to. After we finished filming though it was really fun because Jacob's employees were packing loads of slimes so I just put my camera down let them do their thing. I always love the behind the scenes of these types of things because you don't realise how much work goes into one finished product until you see every single thing being added one by one because I think when you order something you just think it comes together by itself or by a machine but these are all handmade. After all the slimes were freshly made, me and Jacob made a collab video on my main channel where I reviewed his slimes in front of him and then we mixed all the slimes into a slime smoothie afterwards because we were bored before going out for our friend Marissa's birthday and this was so much fun, we went with a whole group of us, we told them it was her birthday as well so she got a sing song and then we just went shopping in the mall before doing some more slime prep because tomorrow is convention day and convention days are crazy, like they are so so wild. So the footage from tomorrow, well the next clip is actually going to be a mashup of two things. The Kawaii Slime Show in LA, but also Slimeland Florida, where most of these clips are from. And in the Slimeland clips, I'm wearing the stripy dress. So even though doors open around 10 a.m., everyone is always up by 6 a.m. And that's mainly because we have to like look nice, then we have to go say hello to everyone. But as well as that, there are sometimes sponsors there. But first and foremost, everyone just likes seeing each other's booths. There isn't competition, but everyone does try and have the most amazing one. The unbeatable one is Kawaii Slime Company. If you're familiar with them, you'll know everything thing they do is just amazing and they always travel with this amazing huge ice cream sundae bar where the slime is the ice cream and then you add in like toppings and slime on top of that so it looks super realistic as you can probably guess by the previous clip one of the things I do is panels and this is sometimes alone sometimes with my friends it's just an example of kind of how people can interact with us if they don't want to come and say hi in a meet and greet situation because I know some people get really nervous but I love when people bring me their puppies and then another thing I also do at events is also sponsored work and the next post isn't sponsored but this was an Elmer's slime bar we made content there and then we posted it online and this is always so fun because we get to get so creative with it one of my favorite things at events is definitely the signs you find no slime down the sink is always a funny one especially no slime down the toilet because no one's going to put an expensive slime down there but one of my favorite things also is at the end of the day when all of my friends were in my room and i go through all the slimes i get oh by the way they have like a hot tub i'm like thinking i'm, like, I'm not gonna be able to check what and then on the sand Okay, everybody it's amazing. Was, it's amazing. Crazy. It's so crazy. Ooh. <laughs> He's probably in there. Oh my god. Um, this is so funny. Instead of him. He gets so mad. That is so sad. So now he like can't bring over girls on his dad. You're on. Oh, wait. Let's go. Any other. Oh my god. No, no, no. 
Thursdays are kind of like Mondays and Tuesdays, but instead of doing it really fast paced and being really efficient, we're a lot more tired. Oh, this is me fault. spilling slime I'm so sorry. all over Jacob's so dryer. The slime off, actually really. disappeared because, fun yeah, fact, glue is biodegradable used in slime, so yeah, it did disappear. But at the same time, we just took it inside and cleaned it up a lot more easily this way because, yeah, we don't want people to go outside and be like, this is where Jacob lives. And after that, we just kind of looked at people making slimes because, you know, we, we had no energy so we couldn't really do much but it was really fun we had a relaxed day we were also really sad because this is always the penultimate day before we leave because obviously it's a work trip so we can't really justify staying much longer so we chill out we make a bit of content but most part is just you know spending time together and enjoying each other's company and because i was staying with audrey we decided to go to sephora that evening and audrey bought a really nice um fresh beauty kit and we did face masks oh, and things like that so here is a clip of us doing that. It's so jelly. I feel like that's like even too much. Mm -hmm. Like a pea size. Put your hands too. Uh, I was filming a video and I started filming that. Same. You know, this is good. These are. Guys, I'm gonna destroy it. Oh wow! This is Audi Slime, the famous Slimer. How are you feeling today? Hello. She is so upset that she cannot find her labels right now. <laughs> Friday was our final day before leaving, so we did make a bit of slime, but mostly we were just messing around, so I don't actually have much of it. There were iguanas! I think they were iguanas, or lizards, I don't know. Iguanas and lizards, just chilling. And then I flew back, this is my saddest moment. Like, I hated editing it because you see all the fun clips, and then obviously when you go back, it's still fun, but it's like British, and obviously there's nothing wrong with being British. I'm just gonna stop the voiceover. All I'm doing is I'm packing slimes here. So at this point, I go through all my slimes. I decide which ones are gonna film that day. Sometimes I don't resist the temptation to touch it. This one, I knew I was gonna film in a different video, so I did play with these. And these are from Yuki Slimes. They're so good. Honestly, my favorite clear slimes at the moment. And then this one is from Blushing BB. But after I did this, I took all the ones that I was gonna film with downstairs and I just, yeah, just unpacked it. And if you're wondering why I look pale, this is actually meant to go at the beginning of the video before I went out, but I ended up including it at the end because it made more sense because this is what I actually did and yeah these are some of the slimes that I filmed before but the same process goes If I'm filming around 20 slimes, it will take me around three and a half hours. So I do tend to split it up into two batches. This one, I just kind of did the ones that I thought maybe would dry out, the ones with clay or the ones with clear slime because they melt down a lot quicker. And that's kind of like my hierarchy of what to film. And I always love seeing the behind the scenes shots because I always find that on this camera, they look so different to what they do on my DSLR. This is my favorite one I've played with today. After filming some of the slimes, I just tested how my slimes kept when I was away, especially the clear glues where they really, really melt down. And I got a huge shipment of clear glue for a sponsorship. Again, this is not sponsored, but these were just gifted beforehand. And then I went on to film my video for that week. And I think this was um, my satisfying slime coloring video. It's just the latest one if you wanna go and check it out. When I start to get tired at the end of the day, I tend to do, tend to do I tend to do the biggest task I have prepared ever, and this is one of the biggest ones that I ever did. And I I don't regret doing it, but it took me around eight hours. And with being so tired, I really did kind of wish that I did it another day, but they dry out, so you can't really. And this was a huge clay ball pyramid. If you made it to the end of this video, then you've seen how an entire week in my life, pretty much for the last seven months has gone. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing behind the scenes. If you wanna see more, I have included a really, really long, more uncut version of just like no voiceover of me just doing stuff on my channel members. So go and sign up for that. Every single time I try and start filming, all I can hear is giggles. Basically, we're gonna wax Jacob's hands. Give me your hand. I wanna rip the wax off my hands. <laughs> Please. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I'm so scared now. I wasn't scared. Oh wait, there's like slightly bigger ones. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. No, this, this part always hurts so much. <laughs> like more than usual. Look at your face, you're so happy. <laughs> <Thank you all. laughs> so Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again in two weeks.